Now, recently I was uh, involved in a project where we were supposed to write poems about uh, poisonous flowers you can find in this country, uh, which is interesting because I knew nothing about them. And so, of course, I went on to Google. And uh, it's bloody fascinating and scary what you can do with roots and leaves and flowers from plants you would never even consider being any way harmless, harmful at all. So when it came to writing the poem, I thought, well, I'm not going to go down the obvious route of just writing about all the different flowers you can sort of, <laughs> sort of kill people with. Um, so I sort of went a bit left field. And just in case you don't know, um, Deadly Nightshade, um, Italian women of a certain repute used to take uh, drops of Deadly Nightshade and put it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And what it did was dilate their pupils to make them look uh, more attractive. So you know what to do next time. Siggy, all right? Thank you. Um, <laughs> if I need this. Yes. <laughs> and that's why they were called Belladonnas, because Belladonna is another name for a deadly nightshade. So this poem is called Belladonna. She loves you, she loves you not. She loves picking petals, crushing leaves, feeding you berries until your blood's a deadly shade of night, until you think this love is not quite right, because... Your throat is dry, speech is slurred, heart is racing, vision blurred, yet still you drink in her every word. She's your passion flower, and her doll's eyes so big and dark, they draw you in until you cannot move, cannot breathe, completely frozen by her beauty. She loves you. She loves you not. <laughs> <laughs>